All right, what is a common rail? Very, very frequently asked question. Common rail, or it's a common tube basically, starting at this end and running through there, you can see the green in the cutaway, is basically a tube. And it has the injector lines connected to that and coming off, going to each injector cylinder. And there is one supply line of fuel that's brought to that rail. So you could say it as again it's used, common rail. So you have a rail of fuel that's common to all cylinders. And the thing that's unique and unusual for a diesel over its conventional system is that with the common rail, the pressure is available at all the injectors all the time. The difference with common rail over the older style injectors is the pump used to push fuel up when it needed to spray the fuel in. Now the pump has permanently supplied the fuel in this rail. The injectors are permanently charged with fuel all at the same time. And a bit like a spark plug, you can imagine, when that cylinder has the piston, if you can see them coming up, once it gets right up near top dead centre, a little electromagnetic solenoid or a piezoelectric solenoid has a charge sent to it, boom, it opens up, lets fuel through. When that cycle is, uh, you know, say the piston's coming down, it shuts. So common rail basically is the word for sharing the fuel and the pressure. So also one of the big differences with common rail, which is where the efficiency comes in over the traditional vehicle. Instead of running two and a half, you know, three and a half thousand PSI pressure, you're actually running 20, 25,000 PSI in fuel pressure. If you had it in a little straight line, it would be enough to probably cut your hand off. So it's extremely high pressure. That's why you do have to be careful around common rail components. Certainly probably shouldn't be touched at home, or at least you have to have experience with what you're doing. So when it comes back to things like tuning, that's why we do focus on, and we've always stuck by that ruling, that actually rail pressure is a very big part of tuning a diesel, because the whole system relies on high pressure fuel. Now that fuel being at such a high pressure, allows you to meter it and it's on and off cycles for supplying fuel and shutting off and stopping fuel are so accurate at that pressure as you can imagine. Whereas something at low pressure, it's a little bit more flexible and just not as efficient, doesn't burn and atomize the fuel as well. So the technology of common rail really had to come about to get diesel burning and burning a lot better than how it had been previously with the old system.